I am Dr. Sangeeta Agarwal. I am a gastroenterologist at Dayton VA Medical Center in Ohio. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about a study which we conducted at our hospital. Proton pump inhibitors are highly effective medications for the treatment of peptic ulcer disease and gastroesophageal reflux disease. Overutilization of these medications has become commonplace in outpatient as well as inpatient settings, leading to increased side effects and costs. Inappropriate use of these medicines as stress ulcer prophylaxis in an inpatient setting is very common and often physicians forget to discontinue these medications at the time of discharge. Therefore, we decided to perform a quality improvement project in our hospital to assess the appropriateness of stress ulcer prophylaxis in hospitalized patients. Hi, my name is Patrick Chen. I'm a second year internal medicine resident working with Wright State University. We performed a retrospective chart review study at the Dayton VA to look at whether prescribers were giving stress ulcer prophylaxis appropriately to the patients in the hospitalized setting. A medication use evaluation was done to look at stress ulcer prophylaxis. The American Society of Health System Pharmacists developed guidelines in 1999, and we use these guidelines in order to determine if patients met the criteria for stress ulcer prophylaxis. We did a chart review of 963 patients total. Of those patients, 67% of them were actually on stress ulcer prophylaxis prior to admission. For the remaining 32%, there was about 10% that were given stress ulcer prophylaxis appropriately, and the other 22% received stress ulcer prophylaxis inappropriately. A total of 75% of the patients were actually continued on PPI or stress ulcer prophylaxis at the time of discharge. What we found <clears throat> was that many of these patients could have been prevented from getting stress ulcer prophylaxis as about two-thirds of them receive them inappropriately. It was important for us to give re-education to providers who are giving the patients stress ulcer prophylaxis. Also, patients should rarely be prescribed stress ulcer prophylaxis at the time of discharge. <clears throat> if patients do get stress ulcer prophylaxis at the time of discharge, it's important for primary care providers to be conscious of this, consider weaning or stepping down therapy to avoid lifelong continuation of medications that may not be indicated. We are currently collaborating with pharmacy and other staff to work on avoiding this in the future. Some ideas we have to, to implement this are creating a hard stop in the electronic medical records, forcing providers to choose a certain indication for stress ulcer prophylaxis. Thank you so much for your time.